Hello and welcome to the 18 WJTS News for this Wednesday, August 21st. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Joey Rell reporting. A two-vehicle accident resulted in a total loss for both vehicles in a crash on Tuesday evening. According to the Jasper Police Department, they were dispatched to an accident shortly before 7.30 p.m. at the intersection of Kirkwood Drive and Manor Drive. A 2022 Ford Sprinter van driven by 40-year-old Jessica McCombs of Henderson, Kentucky was traveling westbound on Kirkwood Drive and came to a complete stop at the intersection of Manor Drive. A 2015 Chevy Cruze driven by 27-year-old Courtney Cryline of Jasper was traveling northbound on Manor Drive and was approaching the intersection when McCombs attempted to turn southbound onto Manor. Cryline did not have time to slow down and the front of her cruise collided with the driver's side of McCombs Sprinter van. The collision caused McCombs to spin and flip her vehicle on its top. No injuries were reported and no citations were issued in the accident. The Dubois County Sheriff's Office has reported a scam affecting the community. Scammers are pretending to be the Sheriff's Office representatives claiming there is an outstanding warrant and demanding payment in Bitcoin with threats of arrest. The Dubois County Sheriff's Office will never request payment over the phone or ask for cryptocurrency. Residents receiving such calls are advised to hang up immediately, avoid pr providing any personal or financial information, and reporting the incident to local law enforcement. The Jasper Strassenfest is thrilled to announce that the Strassenfest half pot has been claimed. Molly and Bob Tuggle of Troy, Indiana are the lucky winners, walking away with a prize of $77,382.50. The Strassenfest committee and representatives from Vincennes University Jasper were delighted to present the Tuggles with their winnings on Tuesday. Molly and Bob shared that they purchased their ticket while attending this year's hot air balloon events with their grandkids. The Ferdinand Town Council met Tuesday with several important updates. Survivors of suicide of Dubois County President Janet Schnell honored her mother, Mary Lou Schmidt, as Lost Survivor of the Year in anticipation of National Suicide Prevention Month. The council joined Huntingburg and Jasper in recognizing Mary Lou's contributions. The council supported two major initiatives. Framing Ferdinand, a new organization aimed at enhancing the town, received a $10,000 pledge for 2025. Traditional arts seeking to reduce rural isolation secured support for a grant to upgrade the Peter Muller home, improving social connections in the area. The police department announced a grant for increased school safety through the SAVE program and is actively hiring. The fire department thanked the community for their support of the fireman's ball and is seeking new volunteers. The street department is planning a fall townwide cleanup from October 8th through the 10th. The next council meeting is set for September 16th at 6.30 p.m. with a budget adoption hearing to follow at 7 o'clock. As always, you can read the full length and detailed recap from last night's Ferdinand Town Council meeting on our website. Memorial Hospital and Healthcare Center in Jasper will be closing its main entrance and circular drive temporarily while concrete repair work is being done. The closure will begin on Monday, August 26th with work completion expected within one week. During this time, the entrance will shift to the pavilion entrance located to the west of the main entrance. While extra staff and signage will be in place, patients and visitors are asked to use extra caution when entering and exiting the hospital as vehicle congestion may occur from patient pickups and drop-offs. Jasper City Hall, the Jasper Street Department and all utilities administrative offices will be closed on Labor Day, Monday, September 2nd. The Jasper Street Department and Resource Recovery Site will also be closed on Saturday, August 31st. Trash and recycling normally collected on Monday, September 2nd will now be collected on Tuesday, September 3rd. The trash and recycling schedule for the rest of that week will remain as usual. Trash and recycling needs to be at the curbside by 7 a.m. Memorial Hospital and Healthcare Center is excited to announce that the next recipient of the DAISY Award is Sharon Wiseman, RN. 
Wiseman is a registered nurse in the inpatient rehab center. She is described as someone who treats patients like family, using encouragement and lightheartedness to start each patient's day. Memorial Hospital is blessed to have Wiseman as part of their team. For more information on how you can nominate a nurse, you can visit mhhcc.org. The DAISY Award is an international program that rewards and celebrates the extraordinary clinical skill and compassionate care given by nurses every day. Memorial Hospital and Healthcare Center is proud to be a DAISY Award partner, recognizing one of their nurses with the special honor each quarter. To find out more about the DAISY Foundation, you can go to daisyfoundation.org. On Thursday, August 15th, Governor Eric Holcomb presented Springs Valley Bank and Trust Company with the Governor's Century Award. A prestigious recognition given to the Hoosier businesses that have demonstrated resilience and dedication by operating continuously for at least 100 years. The Governor's Century Award is part of Indiana's recognition program celebrating the state's longstanding businesses, this award was established to honor businesses that have thrived for 100 years or more and reflects the stability, uh, adaptability, and ongoing legacy of these organizations. American Idol will soon be hosting its Idol Across America open call virtual auditions for Indiana residents. For the fifth year in a row, Idol Across America, the live virtual nationwide search for the next superstar, features audition days for all 50 states plus Washington, D.C., making auditions easier than ever. During this season's first round of American Idol hopefuls can sign up to audition face-to-face -face in front of producers and receive real-time feedback for a chance at making Idol history and being crowned the next American Idol as they enter Season 8 on ABC. The Indiana Idol Across America virtual auditions are set to take place via Zoom on Wednesday, August 28th. For more information or to sign up for the virtual audition, you can visit AmericanIdol.com slash auditions. St. Meinrad Seminary and School of Theology is hosting an on-campus open house for its graduate theology program from October 12th through the 13th. An online open house will also be held on Wednesday, October 16th at 6.30 p.m. Central. Prospective students will get a chance to visit the campus, talk to current students, get questions answered, and stay in free accommodations. St. Meinrad's Graduate Theology Program offers a master's degree in theology, as well as certificates in pastoral studies, scripture, teaching high school theology, liturgical music, and more. Postgraduate certificate programs are available in spiritual direction and in reflective practices. Courses are open to lay men and women and to permanent deacons. The deadline to register is September 30th. For more information or to find the link to register, you can visit our website. And that's a look at news here on 18 WJTS TV. We will have a check of your weather forecast right after this.